Hello guys, I'm going to teach you on this video how to restore an iMac 27 inch late 2013 with the following specifications. It's very simple, most likely thing that you have to do is shut down your computer. Once you shut down your computer, The thing that you have to do most likely after you shut down your computer is go ahead and turn on your computer and hold the command R immediately. The command and the R key. Now let's turn it on. You could release the keys right now and wait for the actual computer to load on the, the utility restore part. Alright, once you are on this screen, you have different options here. And one of the things I recommend to do, if you already back up all your entire information, you go to this utility, you go continue. You could go ahead and erase. You could erase your hard drive. You could erase it and you have different options here like journalist, encrypted, case sensitive, urinally, ECFAT, MS DOS FAT. So most of the time the Apple use the the journal and then go erase. It's gonna mount it this, you're gonna erase the entire hard drive, and the capacity is gonna be almost you know a terabyte because the reason for virtualization and stuff. And for the system so and then you press the X right here you go reinstall Mac OS you go continue and then in this case this computer uh, already has installed Mac OS Sierra there's a new one coming it's called Mac OS High Sierra that I'm gonna install for you guys coming soon and after that you're gonna go to continue and then continue and then you agree to the terms then you select the hard drive that you use restore you reformat it completely and then go to the install let's wait for the install, it's going to take a couple of minutes maybe like 30 minutes, 12 minutes, it depends it's going to take around 5 minutes right now that depends too on the speed of the actual computer Now the iMac is trying to continue with the installation of the Mac OS Sierra. That procedure is going to take about 15 minutes.
right now we go through the menu and we select our country we go continue we select our keyboard depending on what region you are you have different options here oh my guess I'm the I'm the US and then you select your wireless signal your Wi-Fi if you have one if no you could go you select your pre credentials or you go to continue and then it's gonna ask you are you are you sure you don't wanna set up your Wi-Fi you go continue And then, if you want to transfer over from Mac, Time Machine, Back, Abrestata, you select this option. If you want to transfer from Windows PC, you select this option. And then, if you don't want to transfer anything and use brand new iMac with the operating system, you go continue. If you want to enable your location, then continue. And then, agree with the terms. You want to, if you want to read them, that should be great. If not, just go agree. And then, you put your full name. And then your account name, how you want to call your account. And then you put your password and you verify the password. And then set, set time zone based on current location. If you want to do that or if you don't, just uncheck it. Just go continue. You want to provide uh, everything that you request. Uh, you could put a password if you want. I'm going to put like a 1 and then a 1. And then the hint password will be, you know, I put a number in this case, you could put like a hint to remember what do you put before and then you go continue I was creating the account, then you select your location time you could leave this check if you want to share with Apple all the issues that your iMac has or you could check them you don't want to share anything with them and then go continue and then you want to enable Siri so you could talk to her and if you need to look something in the computer is gonna help you Siri will help you all the time if it's active if you don't want to active you could uncheck it too you go continue and then now uh, it's setting up the Mac Now we have a fully functional iMac 2013. I'm gonna show you the specs so you will see that it's the same iMac that we work on. And if you have any questions, just please leave your comment below. I will help you out any situation or issue that you get with your iMac or any other computer. And thank you for watching and see you soon guys.